Hi guys, you're watching Wearm24.com and today we're going to assemble Samsung Galaxy A36. First we need to remove the SIM card tray. For that we will use a special tool. Carefully insert the tool into the small hole and push the tray out. If it is stuck or hard to remove, you can use tweezers to help pull it out. By the way, please notice that the tray is located at the bottom of the phone. Next, we will heat the back core to about 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We are using a heating mat for this, but you can also use a hair dryer. And after about 5 to 7 minutes of heating, we can start removing the back core. To do this, we will use a thin plastic film. This could be a film from a stationary store or even a screen protector film. We gently slide the film along the edge to cut through the adhesive underneath. As always, be extra careful around the camera area to avoid damaging the lenses. Also, don't push the film in too deep. We don't want to accidentally hit any ribbon cables inside the phone. Once the adhesive is loosened, it, we can carefully lift and open the back cover. As you can see, there is nothing attached to the inside of the cover. Now it's a good idea to protect the camera lenses. We use a special protective film for this. Make sure to stick the film only to the rims, not directly on the lenses themselves. Next, we will remove the screws. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 o Carefully unscrew all the screws and place them on a special magnetic pad or tray just in case. Once the screws are out, we will detach the top internal core that includes the antenna, tracks or lines. We use a non-metallic tool to gently pry it off. There is a speaker mounted on this cover, by the way. After that, we use the same non-metallic tool to disconnect the battery connector. Now we will move on to the screws at the bottom section. Again, we use the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. If the screws are hard to remove, we can use a magnetizer, tweezers or both to help get them out. Once the screws are removed, we will carefully detach the bottom internal cover. Lift it gently, it also has a speaker or loudspeaker attached. By the way, in newer Samsung models, the covers usually have markings to show where to pry them open. Now we will disconnect the connectors on the subboard the interconnect ribbon cable and the antenna cable. Then do the same on the motherboard side. Disconnect and move all the cables aside. Next we need to disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and remove a few more screws from the lower section. It is best to keep these screws separate from the previous ones just in case, also remember the placement of each screw on this subboard so you don't mix them up during reassembly. And we carefully remove the subboard, we could notice it sits slightly recessed. On this subboard we have the charging port, microphone and the SIM card tray connector on the back side. The fingerprint sensor remains attached to the frame of the display. Now let's do our usual microphone opening test. The microphone hole is located in the display frame and has an L shape. Behind the hole there is a gasket or a small membrane and the microphone itself is on the other side of the subboard. So even if we stick something into the microphone hole, we won't damage the microphone itself. Now let's move on to the top section. Up here we can usually only disconnect one rear camera and the front facing camera. It is a good idea to remove the front camera and cover the lens to keep dust out. 
Then we remove the one screw holding the motherboard in place. Again, use the same 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver and keep the screw separate. It is different from the others. Now we can carefully remove the motherboard. We gently pry from the edge, lift and take it out. Once removed, flip it over and disconnect the rear cameras. Now we can set the motherboard and cameras aside and move on to removing the battery. In the 2025 Galaxy series, the battery is held in place with the transparent pull tabs. Peel them off carefully and fold them to the side. Then gently lift the battery out. By the way, the battery is not glued down on the bottom or the back. Be extra cautious with the battery connector cable. Make sure it doesn't get stuck to one of the transparent pull tabs. Otherwise, when you pull the battery out, it could tear the cable. Unfortunately, that does happen sometimes. and we carefully peel the tabs and remove the battery. As I mentioned before, it is not glued down underneath. And that is it, the assembly is complete. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video or on our Telegram channel or on our website. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.